Hi everybody, my name is Alessandra Monterrosa. I was born and raised in El Salvador, but I've had the opportunity to travel to many locations around the world, which has allowed me to learn scuba diving and it has completely changed my life. Uh, I'm a PADI IDC staff instructor. I'm also beginning my journey as a tech diver with TDI as an advanced nitrox, also a decompression diver. And I did some training on cave diving back in 2014 in Mexico, Playa del Carmen. So my uh, first experience scuba diving was in a very unique place called Lake Ilopango in El Salvador. And what's very special about this place, and it grabbed my heart the moment I went in, is that it's a volcanic crater lake with fresh water. And it's something that you don't see every day. Now, you don't get to appreciate a lot of aquatic life. However, the volcanic rock topography that you get to admire is just outstanding and breathtaking. And it's one of the, uh, one of the reasons why El Salvador is one, a really special diving destination because of the volcanic lakes that we offer. What is scuba diving for me? I would have to say it's my life. It's, it's my love, it's the love of my life, it's my passion. I know I'm getting really deep, but it, is, it started as a hobby. It then became my profession. And now it's just my lifestyle. And uh, everything that I do is somehow, and it will be related to scuba diving. I would absolutely recommend somebody to start diving. I give so much value to scuba diving courses just because it allows you to explore so much of the world and see so much of what the ocean has to offer. Not to mention all the scuba diving trips that you get to do and the amazing friends that you get to make on those trips. From my experience on diving, I would say the one that stands out the most was when I had the opportunity to work in Playa del Carmen uh, for an amazing company called Scuba Caribe. But I did take the time for myself to train as a full cave diver. The underworld Maya is something breathtaking. It's something that I've never seen, like unlike anything I've ever seen in the world. And I hope that you get to see it with your own eyes as well. But I would also like to mention that in scuba diving, every single place that you visit is a, stands out because every single place is unique. And I appreciate that when I scuba dive. The funniest story on scuba diving, um, I have many, but I would have to say the funniest one was during my time in British Columbia, Canada. I was still learning how to do dry suit properly. And one day, I didn't quite close the zipper all the way. And I remember jumping in the water and my entire suit flooding with freezing cold water. I had to go back to the boat. Everybody had a little laugh, but then everybody on the boat, the crew, all the divers were so amazing because they started sharing with me their stories of how they flooded their suit. All dry suit divers out there, I know it has happened to you once, but it's something that you never forget again and it's I consider actually it was really funny but it made me a better dry suit diver favorite place to dive that's a very difficult question because I appreciate every single place that I visit but I would have to go back to the cenotes in Playa del Carmen Mexico just because the energy that is surrounds in that place is it's amazing it's it's the underworld Maya and when you're down there and you're exploring the caves and you're the first one, you're the lead diver, I would just tell myself, this is just for my eyes. This is just for me. And I just fell in love with that. I love all marine life, honestly, but if I would have to choose a favorite one, I would have to go for invertebrates, specifically cephalopods. I am fascinated by the Nautilus and I am fascinated by octopus. And I think that octopus have this amazing quality where they have these cells on their skins called chromatophores that allow them to change colors and be, um, be able to have an amazing capacity to blend with their environment. And that is something that they're still working on to understand how it works. So I'm just fascinated by how they work and they're super, super smart creatures and they're actually beautiful as well. 
If I would have to give everybody a little piece of advice for their scuba diving trip is just prepare and plan ahead as much as you can. Make sure that you know the places, the destinations that you're going, what you will expect. Culturalize yourself a little bit on, on how everything works in that country or in that location. Also, don't underestimate ever training for scuba diving because training and getting certified is extremely important. My perfect week diving would have to be in a location where I can scuba dive every day or on a charter boat because that means that I'm going to be surrounded by people that love scuba diving and that makes all the difference when you're scuba diving with friends that absolutely love what they're doing. And I would have to imagine that perfect week in a location like Raja Anpat in Indonesia or in the Maldives which I've seen videos and I've heard the experiences from other people that is just breathtaking and I just can't wait to go there myself and experience it. How I see the world in the future in regards to scuba diving, I don't even want to imagine what kind of equipment we're going to have. I remember when I just started diving and compared to today, the amount of access to technology, the different equipments that you have, different courses, not to mention now photography has been a, a tool and a medium to be able to transmit to everybody what you get to see underwater. And that has been something current. It's been, it hasn't been so long that people have turned their lives into expressing and, and sharing. And uh, I believe that more and more people are going to join the scuba diving community and that's just going to mean that we're going to have more people being aware uh, of, of the situation that, that's happening in the world right now with pollution and, and the contamination of solid waste in our oceans and our, in our marine life. And um, that means that we're going to have more people wanting to protect it hands on and that's amazing. So my topic of choice was to share a little bit with you guys about the wonders of the ocean in El Salvador and why El Salvador should be a scuba dive destination. Some of the locations that are very popular for scuba diving here are our two volcanic crater lakes. Most importantly, Lake Ilopango. That's where I learned how to dive and it just captured my heart from the beginning. Uh, the, the other location that is available for scuba diving is our protected marine park called Los Cobanos in the department of Sonsonate in El Salvador. And this place is very unique because it's the only reserved coral area of the region in Central America. It's quite different from the corals that you see in the Caribbean because it's actually coral rock and we do see a lot of marine life from butterfly fish to trigger fish, parrot fish, uh, barracudas, whale sharks, humpback whales, uh, green turtles, hawksville turtles, like it's, it's really abundant. However, some of the challenges that we face here in El Salvador is the limitation on visibility. Water can be very, very murky during the rainy season so it, it, it makes it a little bit difficult to be able to see and that implies that we have to take some security measures like smaller groups. Also, some of the things that we experience while scuba diving in Los Cobanos in the marine park is quite strong currents, although I like to describe the marine park as a treasure box. And it's because when you visit this amazing place, you actually never know what you're going to find. You may encounter amazing visibility or you may encounter really murky visibility. You might have super mellow currents or currents as strong that you have to hold yourself from the descent line and you will be dangling like a flag. But it's exciting. It makes it more exciting, more challenging. And that means that when you go to places in the Caribbean that it's really mellow and clear visibility, you are a more prepared diver. Um, unfortunately, our park of Los Cobanos is only available through a, a time, a season, which is from November to March because of the rainy season, as I was mentioning before. 
Now in the lakes, we do have it available all year round. And as I was mentioning in the intro or before, Lake Ilopango is not a place to go admire a lot of aquatic life. However, you get to see amazing rock topography, volcanic rock topography, and also underwater hot vents, which is quite unique sites. It's like hot springs underwater. And I haven't seen that anywhere else in the world. So the diving skill level that you have to have to be comfortable and safe in El Salvador, I would recommend at least adva advanced uh, because the currents can be quite strong. So it's, it's, you know, we encourage to take a little bit of drift diving specialty courses. We also encourage navigation as uh, waters can be a little bit murky. So visibility is limited and it's important to be able to navigate underwater and at peak performance buoyancy as well. One of the biggest challenges that El Salvador has right now with pollution and contamination is the lack of awareness that our population has and how it's harming our ecosystem and our oceans. So it's important that the younger generations take, a, take an oath on, on educating ourselves and be able to, to create awareness and actually make a difference to teach and change the culture in the country so that we can clean our ocean, clean our rivers, and, and, and really appreciate the beauty that we have here because El Salvador is a tropical paradise and that's how I see it and that's how I want to keep it for my future generations. Oh, thank you so much Diving Week. It was a pleasure to be one of your speakers. I hope that you enjoyed the material that I had here for you and I will see you soon hopefully scuba diving. <laughs>